So, Jaime. Oh, hey, Carlos. Good Have you got see some you. time for some questions? Always time for good questions, Carlos. Hit me with a, a good question, all right? So this one is from Alice uh, from TikTok. Oh, TikTok. She wants to know. Hey, by, by the way, by the way, we should tell our audience. If you haven't followed me on TikTok, I, I don't know what you're doing. If you're not on TikTok, I don't know what you're doing. If you're not putting out content on TikTok, I don't know. Okay, just, just keep, keep going with the question. Please. This is from Alice. Okay, let's, let's and get she it. She wants to know how many emails or video audits okay. she should be sending every week, or every day, perhaps every okay. month. Okay. okay. First of all, Alice, as I always say, respect, respect. Because look, I'm an entrepreneur by blood. I was born an entrepreneur, right? When I see other, you know, other budding entrepreneurs, when I see this, this hunger, this, this fire. In, in, in your eyes and when you guys are asking these questions, it means that you're, you're thinking differently. And I love that, I love that. So Alice, keep doing you and never give up. Enough about the, the cliche, Alice, here is the thing about cold emails and cold video audits. I've been there, I've sent out, probably by now I've sent, manually sent out, uh, I've sent out probably, I'd say around 5,000 manual emails, okay? You know, getting their contact manually, writing, obviously maybe maybe I did a bit of copy and paste. Don't tell my clients. You know, sweat and tears into these emails and sweat and tears into so many Loom video audits that never got watched, okay? And these are 15 to 20 minute videos. Alice, what I want you to do, a few videos back, uh, I shared with, uh, with you guys the process that I follow to land meetings on a consistent daily basis. And the main gist of it is you really wanna automate things, okay? Now, if you don't have any money, I'm not telling, I'm, you know, I, I don't want you to go out and, and drop, you know, bans on 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 very good softwares that, that I currently use. There's no need for that. But there needs to be an element of automation to your outreach. There needs to be an element of building out flows that you drive uh, you know, different prospects through to get to a meeting, right? You cannot be manually sending out, sending out audits. Uh, you cannot be you know, sending out audits to people that don't even want an audit. You first need to have them pre-qualify themselves to you as you know, potential candidates who are genuinely interested because at the end of the day, you guys have to understand that you need to be respected. And, and you know, a little rant here, but I, I see in the agency space a lot that businesses and clients think they're in this power position when you know really they shouldn't you have to change into into mentality where there's not that many good agencies out there right in fact they, sh they should be wanting to work with you because for them it's, it's a lot harder to find a good agency that does your service in their space than for us to find a client that may need our services and so i want you to approach it in that mentality and i want you to stop sending out emails uh, cold emails um manually to two different clients uh, and building out good solid flows that you can you know have a little personalization touch to them but really automize that that whole process the second thing that i want you to do is stop sending out cold uh, cold looms cold video audits uh, i want you to send out cold uh, video audits to people that have pre-qualified uh, themselves to you by telling you that they want to see the audit that you've put together uh, with your team prior uh, to that and so alice that's what i would say regarding that be fooled by what a lot of people are telling you out there of you know personalize every single thing yes i believe in personalization yes i believe you should add, add a, a personalized touch to the email but think think about it as online advertising almost you want to appeal to a to your, your a niche a web of, of you know qualified prospects and then the ones that reach back are the ones that want to work with you you don't want to force anything right yeah that's what i would say about that question if you guys have any other questions as always, I'm answering questions on a weekly basis on my YouTube channel. All you have to do is comment your question down below. Uh, I'll try to get to as many as I possibly can. Also, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel because look, I'm gonna be honest and I, I always say this, but there's so much bluff, uh, bluff out there from people who haven't really done it themselves, from people who aren't really getting results. They might have a little restaurant here as a client or a little dentist or a little clinic as a client, but they haven't produced predictable and consistent results for their agency and they haven't really scaled it to, uh, to new heights. And so I want you guys to subscribe to this channel and consume this content from someone who's actually been through the trenches and scaled uh, his own agency. And so yeah, guys, uh, hope uh, everything's going well in your agency journey. Uh, I will talk to you in the next video. Uh, speak soon.